the value of creating a video uh, testimony is even more powerful than creating than having a written review because instantly it's a lot more authentic, it's a lot more credible, and it's a lot more informative. It's very easy for keyboard cowboys to go out there on TripAdvisor or Amazon or whatever and write negative reviews or write positive reviews about their own products. But as soon as you get someone on camera talking about product or service and reviewing it and giving testimony to it, it's the, the strength of that, that content is 10 times more powerful than the written word. Um, and yet it's not that much more difficult to do. So that's why that I think I'm a, I'm a great advocate of doing video testimonies. Yeah, great. Because uh, I think that's that's the power of it, right? The extra credibility. Because uh, it's difficult to fake uh, a video testimony. Uh, if someone tries, it, it as a viewer, as uh, it's you know, you can tell when someone's being fake and inauthentic and and unreal. So. I love video for that exact reason and probably probably similar to you. And I've even seen, uh, you know, people create a lot of fake text related reviews for their restaurants or small businesses and shops. Uh, and that can, can be quite easily faked. But this is what you're saying is, is a little bit more difficult to do. Yeah, there's a couple of points I'd like to pick up on there. First is that if you're ever thinking, if you are going to embark in doing some video testimony for your business, never ever fake it because you can't. It just stinks and it comes across and it'll just do your brand's reputation no end of damage. Uh, the second point is, um, since I moved to North America, we, there's a lot of infomercials on the television here and you have these actors giving testimony uh, as to the value or the, the miracle powers of a product and it's just so fake and see-through and you can tell that it's an actor reciting lines when you do when you I'll get on to making tech talking about making testimony in a bit and some of the, the key things to avoid and the key things to do but you never want someone to be reading a script you want to be interviewing one of your customers or clients and you want them to be speaking genuinely honestly and truthfully because it will really really come across and as authentic and that will that will speak with your brand and really um, help give it credibility online all right so i think we've probably set the scene quite well here uh so how how do we go about creating a great uh, testimonial video i um, well there's a, one of the, the first thing you want to do is the casting so you need to figure out who is going to be um giving the testimony now so I've had a couple of people come to me before and say, well, Alex, we're a new company or we've got a new product. How, to, how can we get testimony from someone when we don't have any, any customer or client base yet? One way to get around that, if you're coming at this from you know, day one of your business or product, is give out free samples to people. Give them out free samples or, or go and give them an hour of your service, whatever it may be. And then ask them if they would mind giving a, a video testimony as to their experiences using your product or using your service. So that's the first way to overcome that obstacle. Um, so if you already have an established client or customer base, you know which customers are most loyal to your, to your brand and company. Speak to them and ask if they would be interested in speaking on camera and, and talking about your product. Um, it's... You need that individual to be, you know, confident and outgoing because if you get an introvert on camera, it's, it can be very, very difficult. You want someone who's outgoing, who's passionate, who's outspoken, who's enthusiastic because that really comes across in volumes when you're recording video. Um, yeah, as I kind of touched upon before, you, you can't fake it. So don't give them a script or anything like that. You just want to have an idea in your head, in your head what you want them to talk about. Um, even for you, don't write out full sync questions. Just have a sheet of paper in front of you for when you're, you're interviewing them and just have bullet points about the key areas you want to touch upon. Um, one particular area you always want to touch upon is what is the USP of your product? What's your unique selling point? Because let's face it, every market is saturated. Everything is saturated. So you need to differentiate yourself, your service, your product from others so you need to make sure you get that across in the testimony 
Is it your service? Is it your price point? Is it your after uh, sales care? Is it, whatever it may be, you need to, you should know that as your brand and you should get that in the video testimony. Um, the other thing I would really recommend when you're, when you're interviewing your person um, for the testimony is you want to elicit emotion from them. Um, as soon as you get them excited or enthusiastic, they'll start giving you great answers. But, but not only that, it comes across really well in the video and it speaks volumes of your brand. If you get someone on camera really excited talking about your product or your service, it's, it's contagious and, and people, and it's believable and it's genuine and it's authentic. I keep, I'll keep coming back to those words because they they're, go hand in hand with video testimony. Um, so that's some of the, the, the kind of key points there in terms of uh, when you're actually conducting your, your testimony. So how, how do we get the, um, the customer who's doing the testimony for us excited? Like what are, what are some tactics we can, we can use to make sure that enthusiasm uh, comes across in the video? Well, there's two key points here. One is that you always want to ask someone about their thoughts and their feelings if I just ask you, um, why do you like this product? It could elicit a very boring drone response, like it's easy to use. But if you start asking questions like, how do you, how do you feel using this product compared to others? Or why do you love this product? Ask about their thoughts and their feelings because that, that will get them excited, that will get them going. And ultimately, it will get them relaxed and not thinking that they're being interviewed because they'll start, they'll start thinking in their head, what about genuine answers and their thoughts and their feelings and that it's that emotion that you want to tap into and it's key. The second point here is, and I'll, I'll touch upon this later on when we come to talk about the SEO of uh, testimonials, is that you want your product, your service should always answer a problem that that person has. So say for example, you run a a hairdressing business where you go to people's homes or their business, place of business or whatever it is, and you cut their hair there. And what you've done it to them is you've, you've answered the problem that they can't find the time normally to go and get their hair cut because they have to work a lot or they have to look after the kids or whatever it is. So tap into that. Say, you know, you want to really show how your product or service is a solution to a problem that that individual has, ha has had. So ask them before, what was the problem that you had and how did my service or solution manage to solve that problem?